Well, it's day two in Pakistan. A little bit of tired from yesterday, but we're off yeah. on our way for another round of golf at Garden City Golf and Country Club. Yes. And this was a club that he, so he'd first joined when he started golf, or you, you know, you, you came to Pakistan to play golf for the first time. Yes, it was over a year ago, I think. I came for a few weeks. At that time, I became a member here. And yes. We've got a few groups joining us today. Um, they don't call them one ball, two balls, three balls, do they? Yes, they call them flight. Flight of four, flight of two, flight of five. Which three. is quite interesting. <laughs> We're not sure where that saying's come from, but uh, a little bit of differences in terminology. And also when you hit a bad shot, yes, um, you don't shout four. So you've got to shout ball. People shout ball here. Yeah, yes. and then obviously people would be aware of balls coming towards them. But yeah. so yeah, it's probably the same thing. Yeah, it's the same <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. But yeah, yeah you just got to get used. It's a to warning, that. basically. Well, yeah, you got to get get used to that little bit of difference. But yeah, we were probably about fifteen minutes, twenty minutes yes, away now. Yes, yes, we're a little stuck in traffic because school time. We don't have schools on this road, but I think we're getting there slowly. Right guys, so we've arrived at Garden City Golf Club. Tahir, do you want to just introduce Secretary? Uh, well, uh, we have uh, uh, here uh, Secretary Saeed, Brigadier Saeed Zafar. Uh, I think his full name is Brigadier Saeed Zafar Da. And thank you very much for inviting us here. And we are humbled and uh, privileged to be here this morning. It's an honor and privilege uh, for myself and my management of this golf club. And uh, we are trying our best to promote golf here and uh, we welcome you from the core of our heart. And we hope that you'll enjoy the course and you will appreciate it also. Yeah, we're looking forward to this. And, yes. uh, guys, let's go to the first tee. Let's see what this course is about and let's yes. share this with you today. Just right. So we're on the first tee here at Garden City Golf Club with Inam Malik, who's an up-and-coming golf here in Pakistan. In fact, you've done some great stuff already in your career, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty short journey, but feels like a pretty long one. He's only been playing nearly three years, is it? Yeah, I mean, close to three years now. And are you said you say you're ranked the seventh best yeah. amateur golfer? Yeah, I'm the seventh uh, amateur golfer in Pakistan right now. I've already played nine holes with him, guys, and I'll tell you now, I'm not playing so well. This, could, this is probably going to be one of the toughest games I've played. And once I saw you golf for, we're going to have to get this on the channel. Because I, I, I genuinely think you could be a future tour pro. Uh, thank you. This could be your first, uh, you know, chance to show off your golf. So we're going to have a free hole vlog. And then after the free hole vlog, we're going to play free holes with Tahir. So you're going to get to see six holes on this golf course. It's a magnificent golf course. And I was just saying off camera how challenging the golf courses are here in Pakistan. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's not that easy. I mean, you have a hazard or a out of bound on every particular, every single hole, whether you have a hazard or an OB on every single hole. And then, you know, the greens are tricky. I mean, uh, you hit a good shot and it basically, you know, you never know, it's spun back and basically you're out of the green. So yeah, I mean, it's basically tough here, uh, to be honest with you. Like it's it's among a very good facility here in uh, Rawalpindi, Islamabad. In the capital, I would say, I would rate it basically the best course. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, it's an only a nine hole course. We wish if it would have been a 18 hole course, that would be a great, great facility to, to practice on. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, whatever we have is, uh, I mean, we, I mean, we are blessed. For me personally, I've been that impressed by the first nine holes. I can't wait to play it again. So I'm glad we've got a nine hole course today. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have a match. Obviously, it's so difficult. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've learned about golf in Pakistan over these first couple of days. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to let you have the honour. Yeah. So it's probably Thank your you. honour anyway. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh no. Yeah, reload, reload, no worries. Free off the tee. That's better. It's a good shot. Cheers. Well, I couldn't have got off to a worse to start in a free old vlog, but that's golf. I'll take a penalty drop out of the hazard. 
So we need a big hook. So any chance. Sure, eh? Sure can love us. We might have a chance of getting there. Has it gone through? A lot. I've not left you a lot to do, but focus on your own goal and your own score. Yeah. Because you're on for a good score today. Yeah. You're actually level par through nine, aren't you? Yeah. It was a 60-yard shot. A pretty tough pen to attack on. I will try to cut this one. See how it goes. Good strike. Great effort. That's a pretty good result. It's a birdie putt. Yeah. Wait till you see the undulation here, guys. So I've had one, two penalty, three, so I'm hitting for four. I'm pretty much done on this Mine one. Mine landed the there. On this one, this. Went there and basically came down. I've only just got to get it. There's again game. a birdie putt. Watch this. It's not going to stop, is it? It's kept on rolling. It's impossible. Sit. Sit. It's a nice putt. That's a nice putt. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, oh tough luck. Yeah. That's a nice putt. Cheers. You can have that pot. Lovely weight. There. Yeah, well done. Yeah, bad putt. Bad putt. What I've noticed about golf in Pakistan is when people start playing golf here, they just take it so, you know, they're so passionate about the game and yeah. um, they play so much and improve so quickly. Yeah, I mean, uh, one of my friends who basically started golf a year uh, before me, so... He kept on insisting that, you know, you, you should play golf. This yeah. is the best game ever invented. So I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> it's not like... You've been a previous boxer, haven't you, yeah. as well? Yeah, I was. I represented Pakistan in basketball. And uh, on top of that, like, I was a boxer, a lead cricketer. I was like, what kind of a game is this? You hit the ball, you find the ball, you hit it again. Yeah. <laughs> and you kept on hitting and kept on walking. So I used to tell him that, you know, it's not the golf which you play. Yeah. It's the golf who's playing with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, one day, we came to the range, I hit a few shots there, and when I hit my first driver, yeah, that was not that far, like maybe 200 yards, but that was dead straight. Yeah. I love the ball flight. Yeah. And after that, like... You get hooked. Yeah, I, I, I never missed a day for about a year. Yeah. I, I played consecutively for a year, and basically I started thinking about that I should go and compete on the professional level. So what I did is basically, I hired a coach, a yeah. PGA professional. I hired a mental coach as well, like a golf psychologist. I built a simulator room in my uh, in my office. Yeah. That is the only one in entire Pakistan. Like nobody else has TrackMan 4 yeah. or a golf simulator in the in the country at the moment. And I started hitting balls there. Usually, I hit around 250 to 300 balls every single day there. Yeah. And uh, then I play 18 hole on daily basis spend around one, one and a half hour around the greens for chip and putt. So yeah, I mean, uh, you're, goal finally, is, you're finally tuned. Yeah. Your, your golf's are good. And you know a lot about your golf swing as well, which is impressive. For someone who's only been playing two and a half years, mm. he speaks with golf pro coaches, and I can tell you fully understand the golf swing and what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, exactly. It's really impressive. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna go for the green. So drivable par four, uh, 335 yard to the start of the pin around 360 to the back edge 365 so i will try to get on the green yeah and try to make a birdie just and to compensate my bogey and when he says he's going to try it guys he usually does it <laughs> <laughs> uh, should be left off the green come on ah uh, well it's going to be a short chip might be over the green, you never know. 
Definitely not on the green. It's slightly left of the green. Yeah. Same again. I'm playing exactly the same as earlier. Hit the pole. Oh. Ah, just left of it. I mean, you will be getting a clear shot this time. Yeah. For sure, you will be getting a clear shot. And it's 205 yards, but honestly, you don't need to carry it more than about 170 because it just rolls so much out here, doesn't it? Shot. Oh, oh, We've got the line. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Goodness me. Get in the hole. Bunker, I don't know. <laughs> oh, excellent shot. 35 yards. You certainly make it look easy today. Because of the winter, course condition is not that great. So we are playing prefer lie. Yeah. It's actually winter golf here, believe it or not. Yeah. It's usually a lot greener, isn't it? Yeah. I will try to this I will try to hold this one in. Well, let's see. Lovely pick up off that lie. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh. Ooh. I'm saying stops are so quick. Not because I don't want it to go in. Great effort. Thank you. It's a birdie. Thank you. A nice out. Oh, excellent part. It's a tough luck. So our final hole here, guys, par four. Just a big load of trouble on the right. Yeah. <laughs> and then is it out of bounds left or just trouble? No, I mean, just trouble. Yeah. I mean, left miss is always better than the right one in this particular hole because you will end up in water. You might get a shot from the left, but yeah. It's a pretty wide fairway. Well, we're going to play it out, even though there's nothing to play for. We're going to talk about how you've got so good in just a short time, because I think it's very interesting, your story. Good ball. Thank you. Uh, that's fine. Good ball. It's a nice shot. Mm -hmm. So what I found interesting, just tell the subscribers where your golf started and, and how you've progressed with your golf swing. Cause in, what's your actual handicap? Is it, did you see it with yeah, four? Yeah, it's basically three. Three, so it's three, yeah. but trust me guys, three round here is like plus three in the UK, <laughs> believe me. But uh, how did you improve? Apart from the effort you put in, what coaching did you have? So basically when I started off this game and I, I basically developed my interest in the game. Yeah. I said that, you know, now let's take it to the next level and try to compete on a on a level where basically, you know, the top professionals are playing. Yeah. That was the whole uh, idea behind that. Then I started learning that, you know, how you can be on the PGA Tour or the Asian Development Tour or Asian Tour or the European Tour. So... I basically have, uh, I would say, studied a lot. Yeah. Went through a lot of literature and I came to know, like, it's a tough ask. Yeah. Because I'm 37 years old. When yeah. I started golf, I was like 34. You only look 27. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish if I could have started in my early 20s, but yeah, I mean, this is what it is. So, then I basically went to my uh, mentor, like the guy who basically helped me. Start right golf. Right at the start of the golf. Yeah. Uh, he represented Pakistan. He was a really good professional. Uh, before that, he was a really good amateur uh, in Pakistan. And then, basically, I realized that, you know, there are a lot of issues which he cannot resolve. Yeah. So, I went on to the Skillist app. I went on to online platforms, forums to find a, yeah. a good, suitable uh, guy this for is, me. This is the interesting bit. Because yeah. a lot of people back home say you cannot learn about golf online. And they're uh, watching YouTube, uh, you know, doing online lessons and sending videos online. You can't improve your golf. You actually go and need to physically see a PGA Pro. But you didn't. Yeah, I, I never. I never seen a PGA professional 
uh, for coaching to be honest with you but what we did is basically i used to send him videos through coach now app yeah and uh, then we started taking like five lessons a week yeah one hour lesson every single day so yeah. uh, i built that uh, simulator with a trackman 4 yeah and uh, like we used to have uh, like a one hour lesson every single day yeah i started that back in may last year yeah that's when we started so i consecutively went with him for uh, almost like six months. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then I tried to basically. What did your handicap come down in that six months? I was a uh, 12 handicapper and uh, I was four. Four. Uh, so I think if anybody's wondering whether online golf coaching can help, yeah. I think you're an example. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To everybody exactly. that it can help, but with a lot of effort as well. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, it's, it's basically. Um, but my coach used to tell me that, you know, I'm, I'm basically a good learner, I'm yeah. a fast learner. So, something which he was telling me in a, in a lesson, uh, I'm usually I took those, took those lessons in the night. Yeah. So basically what he was telling me in the nights, I was basically implementing that on the day after when I was playing on the course. That's amazing. Regardless of the fact that whether I'm playing 18 over par yeah. or 20 over par, it doesn't you was, make any you difference. You were implementing because, yeah, it. Yeah, I was, uh, basically, the one thing which I told myself that, you know, yeah. With the coaching, I used to play, uh, at times, you know, before hiring a coach, I used to play even par rounds. Yeah. But I told myself and I said that, you know, with this coaching, you might shoot 36 over par, you might shoot 100. Yeah. So. You've got to accept taking yeah, a backwards accept, step. Yeah. And because to get a when step. I'm going to get it down, yeah. it would be a consistent score, which I will be putting on yeah. every single round. So, yeah, I mean... Uh, uh, my suggestion would be that you know if you hire somebody trust yeah. him and uh, go with it like uh, then you know you should not let the old habits creep in yeah. I mean, you just need to go go with the coaching it's and, you so know, true what? it's a good line and a good contact it all re relies on that bounce it's all right Cheers, boss. In it, body. So when you miss the green, it, sometimes it's a lot easier to put because there's such dry and tight lies. I think one of the best tips I could give you is to probably use your putter as much as you can. And even then, you've got to rely on perfect control of pace. Mm, not quite. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Empathetic putt. Pretty bad putt. Yes. Right he doesn't heart. miss. Thank you. He doesn't miss. Thank you. Well done. We've got a good par. Let's see if we can get, get this for par. Let's see if we can put as positively as that. So the recording come crap curry. No, not no. why. Yeah. Thanks for the game. Thank you very well much. Played. Um, and I'm looking forward to playing the rest of this course. Yeah, I'm sure. really loving it. And I wish I were out here a lot more because uh, such a great course to you know play at. Only 12 months ago, I didn't even know that there were a golf course in Pakistan. <laughs> Seriously. And that's why this series has been inspired because I started to teach the deep golf. Um, and when he told me about this world of golf in Pakistan, I thought, well, if I don't know this and I'm a golfer, I've got to share with this. So over the last couple of years, we've been working on a YouTube channel uh, where we make fun golf videos. We do golf club reviews. Um, and we wanted to share with our audience, you know, obviously what the world of golf is like in Pakistan. Um, and so far, I've only played two golf courses in Pakistan. Um, but the way that you guys play golf is incredible. I've played with some two fantastic golfers today who've only played golf for three years. And I just cannot believe, you know, when people in Pakistan play golf, they don't play once a week. They actually, they, they love golf so much and it becomes such a passion that I think golf's progressing so well. Um, and I think, you know, as a whole, the club, 
you're, you're, a, credit, you're a credit to your club, you guys. Um, and the course as well, I mean, that is some challenging golf course. Um, the greens are incredible. This is winter golf as well. So if this is what the course is like in the winter, wow, I can't, I don't know what it's going to be like in summer. It must be amazing. We're most welcome again in Honestly. summer. <laughs> Come over. It's such a challenge. You've got ha a lot of hazards. You've got to really think about where you leave the ball in the green. If you have one look at the, the putt, you're going you're gonna to free putt. You need to have a look all the way around on every green because it's so tricky. Um, and we just had a little bit of a chat in uh, the back office and talking about you know, your president as well, um, who again, I think, shows how keen everyone is to play golf. He'll even go and play with one arm. Yeah. He's that keen. Yeah. Um, and that says, for me, that says a lot about golf in Pakistan and um, I can't wait to share this with, with everyone, you know, obviously online and um, yeah, I'm, I'm humbled by, you know, everything you put on today and um, thank you very much. I can't wait to obviously present these prizes um, and yeah, congratulate everyone for how well they played. Well done.